You know, every now and then I do get this question on the channel and that is if this is going to negatively affect our heart health, our cardiovascular system, because we are constricting the blood vessels during the isometric contraction. So it's probably not good, right? Let's get into it. But first I wanted to say thank you so much to our No Limit Squad patrons for showing our extra support for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate you. I want to give you all that shout out. Now let's get into the benefits. Firstly, I want to let us know that the benefits for cardiovascular training and its integration with isometric training has already been documented. So now I want to go over those documents with you. In fact, isometrics have a unique effect on the cardiovascular system. Both systolic and diastolic pressure rise with isometric exercise in order to maintain blood flow to actively contracting skeletal muscles, which is going to produce an increase in both heart rate and mean arterial pressure. The increases are proportional to the amount of skeletal muscle that is contracted so hand grip requires less increase than leg extension and leg extension requires less than heavy weight lifting. So at any given level of oxygen uptake, right? Vigorous isometric exercise will be raising our heart rate. It's going to raise our systemic vascular resistance and it's gonna lower our stroke volume and cardiac output more than dynamic exercise does. That is taken straight from exercise in the heart, risks, benefits, and recommendations for providing exercise prescriptions by CJ Levy, L-A-V-I-E, if you wanna look that up on your own. So pretty much when we squeeze our muscle and we hold that position, our blood vessels are gonna become mechanically constricted by the tight muscles. As a result, now our heart, it has to work a lot harder to pump the blood throughout the body because restricting it. This in turn is gonna give the heart and blood vessels a powerful workout. You could even call this the cardiovascular isometric response and researchers are beginning to really understand that it has major potential benefits for heart health now let's talk about RHR okay this is called resting heart rate resting heart rate refers to the number of times our heart beats per minute while we are at rest typically measured when we are awake and calm it's an essential indicator of cardiovascular health and fitness a lower resting heart rate generally indicates a more efficient heart and better cardiovascular fitness resting heart rate can vary from person to person and is influenced by several factors including age fitness level overall health and genetic on average adults typically have a resting heart rate around anywhere between 60 and 100 beats per minute or bpm however well-trained athletes or individuals with excellent cardiovascular fitness may have resting heart rates or rhrs below 60 beats per minute the stronger a heart is the more powerfully it can pump blood around the body on a beat per beat basis so people People with strong healthy hearts usually have that lower resting heart rate than people with weaker hearts. Now, involving isometrics, studies have shown that during an eight week course of isometrics, there's been a reduction in resting heart rate by over eight beats per minute. What a difference. And by the way, in that study, that was only about hand grip training. This, that's it. We're not even talking about any of the larger muscle groups, which will have a more impactful effect on the body. And it actually compares pretty well to traditional aerobic exercise. Now, one thing I want to really drive home here is I am never going to advocate performing isometric exercises in place of aerobic exercise. We need to perform cardiovascular exercise. Bruce really pushed his isometric training, but he was also jogging slash running, you know, three to four miles every every day. He was an animal. You know, he did both and he knew the value of the heart because the heart is the most important muscle in the body. So it's important that we treat it that way. By the way, I wanted to add something to that study I just talked about with the hand grip training. There was a similar 12 week study instead of eight where that study group, I mean, that group of participants performed aerobic exercise only, so cardio only, and they only dropped four BPM. Food for thought, do both though. So yes, isometric training is going to raise our blood pressure. It's in a nature when you constrict something, it's going to build up. However, after the isometric contraction is finished, the blood pressure quickly returns to normal. The rise in blood pressure seen in isometrics are absolutely safe for healthy individuals. In fact, temporary fluctuations in blood pressure are perfectly normal. They occur all the time from pretty much all forms of exercise. In fact, several studies have indicated that isometric training is probably the best way to reduce 
blood pressure. Again, probably because of the isometric response, the forcing of the blood vessels to constrict and work harder, which is going to strengthen the circulatory system. Reducing overall blood pressure <laughs> makes sense. Just like with weight training, when we start at a certain level, right, we're breaking down the muscle fiber in order for them to reattach and become stronger. It's the same thing here. While we're not breaking it down, we are making it work harder so that, so that it becomes stronger. So we must break it down to build it up. I wanted to cover one more study. I like this one. Individuals performing isometric exercises three times per week over eight weeks saw their systolic pressure drop by 12.5 points and her diastolic plunge by a huge 14.9 points that's nearly two points every week that's a huge deal with a low amount of train the, the thing is it's a low amount of training <laughs> it's about 20 minutes three times per week 20 and we've already talked about the efficiency of how time-saving isometrics are if you haven't seen a video on that here's a link right here check that one out at your leisure but even more recent studies have shown drops in blood pressure in as little as four weeks an excerpt from the Journal of Hypertension states, isometric exercise may be of value as part of lifestyle advice in maintaining a desirable blood pressure. And I do want to end with this. This is very important I'm about to say. If you have been diagnosed with any heart conditions or hypertension, please consult your doctor before involving yourself in any type of training, isometric training, dynamic training, consult your doctor first. You don't wanna go watch a video and then if you have heart problems, go ahead and pull this type of training off and make it worse. This is why it's always within scope of practice for a personal trainer to tell someone to go seek medical advice first from their doctor. In the hierarchy of things, you wanna take advice from them first when you have a medical condition, if that makes sense. We're just talking about medical condition. But what are your thoughts? Did you know that about cardiovascular training? Did you know we had another video on cardio and isometrics? Here's a link there if you wanna check that out. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and comment. And if you're not yet part of squad, hit that subscribe button, come join the squad with us. We'll see you next video. Peace.